PlayStation might have a major issue on their hands. We're talking Red Ring of Death, put your console in the oven level of an issue. As according to multiple console repair shops, the PlayStation 5's liquid metal used to cool the console's APU have allegedly been leaking out onto the console's motherboard, causing overheating and in some cases, a total malfunctioning of the console. And what causes this issue, you might be asking? According to these individuals, standing your PlayStation 5 vertically could cause this issue to happen. Wait, isn't R? PlayStation 5 standing? <laughs> Are you listening? Hey, welcome back, friends. Uh, today's show is a very interesting story, so let's talk about the PlayStation 5, which obviously is Sony's latest video game console that released back in 2020. And though initially supplies were kind of tight, good news is, according to Sony's Jim Ryan, the supply chain woes of Sony are officially behind us, and any player who is wanting to buy a PlayStation 5 will have a much easier time finding finding one at retailers globally starting from this point forward, which is great news for PlayStation. However, PlayStation may have a bigger issue they now have to deal with. As according to multiple PlayStation 5 repair shops, the console's liquid metal used to cool the console has been discovered to spill and potentially become uneven, which in the case of the PlayStation 5's accelerated processing unit, this liquid is designed to cool down the actual APU. An improper or uneven coverage of that liquid could lead to overheating, high energy consumption, unexpected power down cycles, and of course, noisy fans. Which I guess I gotta be the guy to say it, but at this point, noisy fans just seem like it's part of PlayStation's MO. Now, what makes this extremely interesting is that in every case of spilled liquid metal, the users are reporting that they had their PlayStation 5s standing upright. And as Wolo.net, who broke this story, wrote, in theory, liquid metal used to cool CPUs is not a problem. The cooling mechanism and the CPUs are so tightly pressed that nothing should spill or fall when the right amount is applied. And this is why, historically speaking, there really hasn't been any concern about having your PlayStation 5 standing vertically. However, Wolo.net does go on to speculate and says if your PlayStation 5 is vertical and, and something bad happens to the seal holding in that liquid, then there is is a risk the liquid metal will progressively fall down, becoming uneven, impacting the cooling ability, and possibly reach components it shouldn't. And look, this is far beyond just one person running into this issue, because we've already seen photos of this liquid metal seeping into other components. With Ben Montana sharing in the PlayStation 5 France Facebook page multiple images of the PlayStation 5's liquid cooling leaking out and spreading across the motherboard. And on top of that, we've also seen fellow YouTuber The Coder upload a repair video where the PlayStation 5's liquid metal has leaked out and seeped underneath the sticker that is designed to protect the console's IPU, which according to the video was causing the PlayStation 5 to be unable to boot the console's operating system. Now, for the most part, Sony has not issued a statement about this issue, and I think it's worth noting that this isn't a case where people are misusing their consoles. I mean, PlayStation used a vertical standing console in the actual branding of the PlayStation 5, which my God, if it does come out that this is a widespread issue and it leads to mass console failure, we are talking Xbox 360 Red Ring of Death level of mess up here. Which, if you're not aware, the Red Ring of Death reportedly cost Microsoft over $1 billion as a company to address. And look, personally, I have yet to run into any issues with my PlayStation 5, and I've had it standing upright since launch. But I've also never opened it up, so I mean, it could be dripping liquid metal all down the motherboard, and I I would have no clue. And the problem that we're all running into is that even if it was dripping liquid metal, the PlayStation 5 warranty lasts one year. So in the case of myself and the other 30 million PlayStation 5 owners out there, if we do run into this issue, we're pretty much out of luck. I mean, the only saving grace here would be that the problem was so widespread that PlayStation had no choice but to fix it, similar to what happened with Microsoft and the Xbox 360. I'll tell you one thing though. Starting today, 
That console is laying flat. <laughs>